Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to figure out which application has drained your battery. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It only takes a moment to do, but it really helps to support this channel and the work that I do. So when I woke up this morning, I discovered that my battery was in the red and was about to completely go flat. And now we're going to figure out what is responsible for this massive battery drain. So when I'm in the home screen of my iPhone, I'm going to go to the settings menu. So I'm going to press the settings icon here and then what we're going to do is to scroll down and then we're going to find the battery menu here. So when you scroll down the battery menu here, you'll see that there's a chart here of your battery level throughout the entire day. So as you can see, between midnight and 7 a.m. this morning, it's been draining consistently all the way down to nearly zero. If you scroll down further, you can actually see what apps has been using your battery throughout the last 24 hours. So here it's showing that Reddit has used 19%, YouTube has used 10%, YouTube Studio has used 9%, etc., etc. et cetera. However, this does not clarify exactly what has caused this particular battery drain here. All you need to do is to tap on a section and it's gonna isolate which app has has drained the battery in that time. So for example here, I'm gonna look at the last few hours and it's showing here that exposure notifications have used up 41% of my battery and find my iPhone has used up 18%. So exposure notifications is one of those COVID Bluetooth features and this can use up a lot of power. So if I look earlier in the night, exposure notifications and tile have used up a lot of power and then exposure notifications again here and exposure notifications again. So this is all times that I was asleep between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. This is not great, especially as exposure notifications are not particularly useful in March 2022 in the UK at the moment because we don't actually have any COVID restrictions anymore. So what I do is to basically disable the apps which are causing the battery drain. And exposure notifications is a simple one. I'm gonna to go to settings here and then tap on exposure notifications. And basically what we can do is turn this off. So this really depends on what region of the world you're in and the way that your country is handling exposure notifications but I don't really have a use for this anymore not in the UK and not now so what I'm gonna do is to turn off exposure notifications and delete the data so now that's turned off that means that in the future my iPhone will no longer be using exposure notifications and consuming lots of battery power so anyway that is how you go ahead and diagnose what is causing the battery drain of your phone and I figured out the exposure notifications have caused this. And now I've disabled it, hopefully I'm gonna get much better battery on my iPhone 12 Pro. What you can also do in the battery menu is to tap on battery health. And as long as your battery maximum capacity is over 90%, I would say that your phone battery is still relatively healthy. However, if you have a capacity, let's say less than 90 or even 80%, then your battery might be draining because of a hardware fault and you might wanna get your battery replaced. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other video tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.